First up this morning, a show that has been voted best in the Great Lake region three years in a row. We are talking about the feline groovy all breed and household pet cat show. That's right. This is a perfect way for me to start my Monday morning. Mary Rice is here with Peyton you on your lap. That's right. Yes. Uh, who is the number one ragdoll alter, meaning neutered in the world. And Vivian Frawley is here with RB, the Tonkinese cat on her lap. And I've got who? You have the Silic Blessing. <laughs> Grand finale. <laughs> At home, she's called pretty. Oh, and she's purring. I can feel she her purring. Is. You know, even you before we pretty. went on the air, all of them were so audible. This one over here, is this Arby, you said? Yes, oh, Arby. Yeah. He's, he's a Tonkinese. He's a Tonkinese, and Tonkinese are a Burmese-Siamese mix, and they are very verbal. Chatty. Yes. Is vo does vocal in terms of cats mean unhappy? What do? Because no. a lot of people who aren't cat people, right. my cat is very vocal and I find that people get nervous and a little scared by, by vocal cats because they, if they're not a cat person. Sure. How, well, how do you describe a vocal cat to someone? What are they doing? Well, cats only meow to people, mm -hmm. right? Um, they know that we talk, so they talk because we do. Um, sounds that they make to each other are more chirps and purrs and various other sounds um, that I won't embarrass myself and imitate. <laughs> um, but some breeds are more talkative than others. The um, Siamese is a very talkative cat, and they're just talking to you. Yeah. They're just, you know, telling you about their day. He does like to give a play by play. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's, he's definitely Cuz he likes well, well he likes coat. attention. Yeah. He wants yeah. attention and if you're ignoring him, they'll he talk, will talk to you. more. <laughs> me, me, me. Yeah. So talk about the show. What do you see Beautiful. at the show? Yeah. Tell us about it. You you see so many breeds of cats that you've heard about and never seen and it's so fun. Yeah, this one Finale I Finale is I mean, the number 1 Siberian championship I mean, cat in the world in right face. now yes and so, so beautiful like, so she's weird. fabulous look at the whiskers. you are going to see just unique breeds there's some new ones out but some of the most popular breeds are Maine Coons oh American I love Maine short hairs Persian bobtail Japanese yes um yeah. what but Red what dolls. when you come into the show you're going to see um uh, what's called the benching area where all the cats are staying in cages until they are called up to a ring. There's five rings of judging all day. Um, you can tell what's being judged that day by the numbers because they're classified that way. Um, so people are going to come in. There's a raffle table. Um, there's vendors. Um, so there, um, we have uh, Kindred Kitties, which is a local rescue in that area. I don't know if they're going to have any rescues for adoption, but they might. But they always have a very nice display yeah. of these gorgeous hand-painted glasses and things for sale to raise money for the cats. Um, there's cat toys and cat trees and all kinds of things they can buy. These photos we're looking at are like the most incredible pictures. The truth is they're actually models. They have agents. Yes, they yes. do. Oh, yes. Are you serious? They have they cat do. agents, yes. don't they? Yes, they yes. do. So yep. do they make money? They do. It's very nice. <laughs> that picture right there of Arby is yeah. uh, actually a from a professional photo shoot that was in Los Angeles. Wow. Yes. Arby flew to LA for that one. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it was in Saint, it was in St. Louis. That's oh okay okay. So these guys, so all of these these three will be there. Talk about a little bit about the awards and how people train. How do you get your cat into a show like this? Well. Number one, you have to choose a cat that has the kind of temperament and personality. They have to be yeah, kind of... These three. Yes. See how calm they oh, are? Yes. And looking I mean. around and thinking it's fun. So th they have to have a personality like that. But number one, they have to look like the breed standard. So they're okay. judged. So a rag doll is supposed to look a certain way. A Siberian should look a certain way. So you want to look for the most perfect kitten that you hope will grow up to be the <laughs> most perfect cat. But... They don't have to be a purebred. They don't. Oh, okay. There is a class which I mostly show is household pet. And that could be a purebred cat that you rescued at a shelter. Okay. It could be a just a domestic cat that you have in your house that you Tiffany. think is actually <laughs> very cute. You know, I love my cat. And they can win the same awards that these professionals with that the fancy yes. ones can get <laughs> yes <laughs> but the household pet they need that really great personality. they need the yeah. personality but it's really hard to determine that because I have seen I had a cat that international winning show cat who 
at home, if someone came over, you wouldn't see him. He'd be hiding under the bed. Yeah. But in the show hall, he would stand up and strut his stuff. <laughs> Isn't it kind of funny how they kind of know when they're on they display? Know. They know. They're talking about they get after, pompous. They do. After you groom a cat or a dog, how they just kind of got it going on. They're like, yeah, yeah I look good. When, when Peyton's at a show, the judge puts him on his judging table. They usually just step back. He looks around, looking at all of his people. Then he goes over and goes on the scratching post. Yeah. And then he comes down and sits <laughs> down and looks around some more. He's very dignified, but he knows everyone's there to see him. Absolutely. They are not so dumb. Fun. They know exactly what they're doing. The show is going on Saturday and Sunday, so people it can is. come out. And I think, like you said, what's really neat is you get to he see all these breeds that you've heard about up close and personal, see some of the most beautiful animals in the world. Again, it's September 15th and 16th from 9 to 4. It's at Racine Civic Center Memorial Hall right in Racine. You can learn more by visiting catsrulecatclub.com. Again, for the feline groovy all breed and household pet cat show. So much fun. Thanks for bringing them today. Oh, Thank you're you. Welcome. I want to give you back. Oh. And she was happy to see you again. I know it's been a, it's been a year or two, <laughs> it right? Has been a she year. does recognize Sweet your Tiffany. Yes, we love each other. She's purring. <laughs> she what a great Thanks way so to start a Monday. Thank you guys. Yeah. Uh -huh.